Hey traders, welcome to another very important video. And in this video, we're going to talk about the box function in PyScript, how you can draw boxes using the built-in function in PyScript. So let's say if you want to draw a box around a certain condition, for example, let's say you identify this as a supply zone and you want to draw a box around it on the supply zone. In this case, the box would be red in color because this is a supply zone. So how do you do it using the box functions in PyScript? And that's exactly what we're going to talk about. I'm not going to go complex about detecting the supply and demand zones, but this was just, for example, if I just go and apply one of my scripts that is supply and demand indicator and apply it here. So you can see that once I apply the indicator, it starts to automatically detect the supply and demand zones. Now these are made using the box function in PyScript. These boxes, these zones are made using the PyScript box function. So let me just remove this and let's get into learning the box function. So first of all, to use the box function, we want to plot only the latest box because if we do not put the last part condition, then it's gonna draw a box on each panel, which we don't want. We want it to only plot at the latest bar because we want to plot it on this latest camel. So let me just go ahead and set that. So we're going to define if bar state is lost, dot is lost, then we want to go ahead and plot our box. And here we want to give our box a name. So we can say my box. And now let's go ahead and use the box function. So we're going to say box. Dot. And when we hit dot, we see all these functions are for related to the box. So we can say box dot new. And now we have to assign a bunch of parameters because if we draw a box around here, we're going to need a left, we're going to need a top, bottom, and a right level. So we have to assign all these values before we start using the box in PyScript. So that's essentially what we're going to provide in this one here. So let me just go ahead and move this here. So inside here, let's say we want our left to be the bar index because we want to start plotting our bar, our box at this latest count. So we're, we're going to say left is equal to bar index. And then we want to say right is, let me just put the comma there so that it follows the syntax. And now, Next value we have to provide in is left top. So we're gonna say top is equal to high of the candle. And then we're gonna say right is going to be bar index is equal to, let me just put this. Right is going to be bar index plus 10, okay. And then the bottom of our box is going to be bottom is equal to going to be the low of this latest count. So we're going to say low. And now we can go ahead and save this and start drawing this box. So let me just go ahead and put it here. And let me save this script and add this to chart so that we can see if it plots a box onto the chart or not. So you can see a blue colored box is being plotted on this one here. Now, these are the essential parameters that we must provide before we use the box. And there are a lot of other parameters. For example, you can see border color, border width, style, extend, and all these parameters. So let's go through some of these. So next parameter, let's say we want the border color to be green. So we're going to say border color, underscore color is equal to color dot green and let's say border red idth is going to be green and now let me save it and see if our border color and border width are applied so as you can see our border color and border widths are applied and you can go on and on the let me just go ahead and tell you what each argument does the next argument is the border style, and we can have it as dashed, dotted, or all those styles. So let's say we want the border style to be dashed, and for that we're gonna say border style is equal to line dot style, and here we're gonna say dashed, okay? 
So now let me save it and see if our color or our style changes are. Let me see, there is an error. So we are missing a comma here and let me just put that and let me hit save. So here we can see our border style has turned to this dash. And there are all other parameters as well. For example, the extent, we can extend it either in the forward or backward or both directions. So let's say we want to set extend is equal to extend dot both left, none, and right. So if I say extend to left, then it's gonna extend all the way to the left. Let me just again go ahead and make this syntax correct. And let me just go ahead and save again. So here you can see it extended all the way towards the background. If I change it to extend dot right, and if I save it, now it will extend in the right direction from this first count. Even we can go ahead and if I change the left is equal to bar index minus, let's say one. And also we want to take the high and low of those values. So let me just hit save. So now this will shift one bar backward because I've said bar index is minus one is going to be all right, as we can see here. So this is how you can use the box function and you can use multiple conditionals to format your box around a certain condition for as I showed you in the beginning, like I did in my supply and demand indicator. So in my supply and demand indicator, it only plots whenever it detects a supply or demand zone in the market. So I hope you were able to understand the concept of how box function in PyScript works and you'll be able to make really cool stuff using this function. If you have any questions, please comment down below. I would love to answer them. Also, don't forget to like, share, and subscribe. See you in the next video.